Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. If you've been living under a rock, you probably won't know what these are for. These are Android set-top boxes, and they are for entertaining you and probably your annoying children uh, with things like Netflix and Plex and Kodi and all of those other things that mean you probably don't need a stupid TV license anymore because, well, you're not a caveman. Until recently, you've only been able to control them using one of these. Uh, but somebody came up with a rather ingenious idea, and I am Colin Edwards, which is probably not his real name, who knows what his real name is, uh, suggested, Paul, you could use this instead. And I thought, no you can't, I've tried that. And he said, yes you can, you moron. And then he gave me this wonderful piece of information, uh, which I'm going to share with you now. But first of all, let me give you a demonstration. Uh, just bear with me, I just need to come over here because I'm going to show you the screen, which I'm pretty sure is over this side of me. If it's not, it's over this side of me. Enjoy. Alexa, plex me up, Scotty. I just don't have the power. Oh wait, yes I do. A bit of Star Trek humour there for you. Alexa, go down two. Okay. Alexa, select. Okay. How cool is that? Alexa, go back. Okay. Alexa, Netflix warp speed. Hi, Captain. More Star Trek humor. Alexa, go down three. Okay. Alexa, select. Okay. Unbelievable. I can do that with any application. I've set it up for Kodi, I've set it up for Plex, I've set it up for Netflix, I've set it up for everything that I use to watch video, and now I can watch video. It's amazing. Uh, here's how. There are three things we're trying to achieve here. The first one is that we need to be able to advertise to Alexa the individual applications that we want to control. So the first thing we do is install onto the Android box Alberto Sonoris's application. Uh, that in turn is then able to advertise to Alexa each individual program that we want to be able to open. The second thing is we need Alexa to be able to listen for those things in the first place. So we need to install the Alexa skill for Alberto Sonoris so that she can listen out for those devices and therefore knows how to control them when we link the two things together. The third thing we need to be able to control is up, down, left, right and select. Now we're going to use a totally different method to do that. We're not going to use software, we're going to use hardware. There are two obvious solutions. The first one is the Harmony Hub, which everybody's heard of because that company is worth tons of money. Uh, the second one is lesser known, uh, but something that all of my subscribers will have heard of about a billion times. Uh, it's either the Broadlink RM Pro, because that can fire infrared, or a Broadlink Black Bean, because that too can fire infrared. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the Alberto Sonoris app from the Android Play Store onto your Android TV or Android set-top box, whatever's your poison. Uh, once it's on there, it's going to ask you to log into your Amazon account. It needs to do this so it can talk to Alexa. If you're a privacy nut and you're scared of that sort of thing, either just stop watching my channel because I'm going to get you to do this sort of thing a lot. Or I highly recommend, if you are worried about your privacy, to sign up for uh, an Amazon account using an email address you don't use for your online banking, so this sort of thing won't matter so much. Uh, so with that said, what it will do is once you're logged in, it has that gateway to Alexa and it can start advertising your Android applications as if they were lamps. So we're going to fool Alexa into stupidly thinking these are lamps that she's switching on when in fact it's going to be loading up your Android uh, applications. Genius. Correct, that is genius. Uh, so what we need to do now is enable the Alexa skill in the Alexa app. Uh, once the Alexa skill is enabled, she will then be able to search for the so-called lamps that are being advertised by your Android TV or Android set-top box. Once the skill is enabled, you can then get it to scan for devices like she normally would do. She'll find the so-called lamps and therefore be able to open the Android applications. 
So I've explained about six billion times what this thing is already, but I'm going to do it one more time. So, uh, I'm going to do it as quickly as possible. Oh, me caveman. Me use remote control to control things. Uh, oh, me debonair, handsome, rich gentleman. Me want to use this to control this instead. Ah, me need device, this device. Okay, so this thing is going to control this thing instead of our remote control, so that we can use Alexa instead of our remote to control this thing. So I'm not going to walk you through the whole setup process of the Broadland Car Pro because I've done it a billion and one times. Uh, you can see that here in a video or in the description. Just go to the description, it's there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you from the point where you've actually already got this thing linked to your phone. So it's now linked to my phone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a remote. So if I click on my RM Pro because I want to add a remote to my RM Pro uh, and then I'm going to click on set top box because technically that's what this is. This is a set top box. Uh, from there, I'm going to call it, I don't know, Zidu, being as that's what it is. Uh, and press OK. You can put it in a room if you want. I'm not going to put it in a room. Uh, I am ready. So it now wants me to teach this thing to that thing. Uh, so I need to point this thing at this thing. So I'm going to do that now. It wants the on off button, so I'm going to press the on off button. Cool, it worked. Uh, I now press the on off button on the app. And the app says, did it work? I don't know, because it's not plugged in. Yes, let's pretend it worked. And now it's the mute button. This doesn't have one. I'm going to press the volume down key. It's the closest thing I've got. Cool, it's learned that. Uh, yes, it worked. It wants volume up. I'm going to press volume up. It's learning one thing at a time from this remote. So let's speed that up. We now have a remote control on our phone, and this thing can now control this thing using this thing, which is great. But I want to use this thing instead of this thing so that this thing will send remote control frequencies to this thing. Got it? So, we're almost there. What we now need to do in order for Alexa to be able to uh, receive these commands up, down, left, right, select, go back, all of those things, we need to come out of that main menu and we need to create a scene. Not the kind of scene you might make in a restaurant when your girlfriend dumps you because you're a sad loser, the kind of scene that Alexa can discover. Uh, so, by going into scenes we can then press the plus button, uh, we can choose a scene name and I'm going to call this Zidu Up. Save, uh, add appliance, and now we just pick the key that we want. So we go into the Zidu menu and we press the up button, and that's it. We've got up. We press save. We now have a scene called Zidu up, and if I now ask Alexa to scan for new devices, she will find a scene called Zidu up. I now need to do the same thing for Zidu down, so if I just call this one Zidu down, and then save and then add appliance and then choose from the Zidu menu the down button and then press save. I've now got Zidu up and Zidu down and if Alexa discovers those devices and I say Alexa Zidu up or Alexa Zidu down she will do those things almost. She won't quite do those things she'll go what are you on about? So now we need to actually give Alexa some proper command names to select these things. So in the Alexa app, you'll need to enable the Broadlink skill if you haven't already. I'm not going to walk you through that because I've done it six million times. Videos here, videos here, it's in the description. It's there somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to now click the menu button and go to Smart Home. Uh, so our scenes are currently empty. Mine has a couple in there already from another device. I'm going to press the plus button and what should happen is Alexa should discover the scenes from this little bad boy and those scenes should be Zidu up and Zidu down. Let's see. So you can see we now have Zidu down and Zidu up, which is awesome. Uh, as we could use the words Alexa switch Zidu down on, but that would suck. I don't want to say that. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to create two routines. One routine uh, called Zidu up, one routine called Zidu down, and we're going to be able to give them whatever command we want. So I'm going to go to routines, uh, create routine, and I'm going to say when this happens, my voice says Alexa go up, save. Then I want you to perform the action, smart home, control scene, zidu up, next, add, create.
Done. Now, if I say to her, Alexa, go up, the routine will pick up the command and will fire the request to this thing to send the infrared command to make this thing go up. Perfect. I'm going to do the same thing with down, so I'm going to press the plus button. I'm going to say when this happens, my voice says, Alexa, go down, save. I want you to perform the action, smart home, control scene, zidoo down. Next, add, create. Cool, I now have two commands, zidoo up, zidoo down, and all I've got to say is Alexa, go up, or Alexa, go down. All you have to do is exactly the same thing for every command, so you teach your Broadlink RM Pro uh, left, right, select, and go back. Uh, she would discover those scenes, and then you would be able to give, using the routines section, those commands some proper names, so you can actually say more Englishy type words. So finally, I want to give some more custom phrases to do things like open Netflix and open, I don't know, any other application on my Android device. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to create a routine. I'm going to say when this happens, my voice says the words, Alexa, I don't know, launch Netflix, you cow. Save. I want you to perform the action from my smart home and instead of scenes, pick a device. Control device. Netflix. Next, add. So Netflix came from the Alberto Sonorous skill, uh, and all I'm going to do is create that, and now when I say, Alexa, launch Netflix, you cow, it will turn on Netflix using Alberto Sonorous. Uh, I'll do one more, just an example. When my voice says, Alexa, open Plex up. Yatch. Save. Add action, smart home, control device, Plex. Turn Plex on, add, create. That's it. That's all there is to it. How cool is that? There is one caveat to all of this. This is an infrared sending device, the same as this is an infrared sending device. If your remote control is not infrared, if it is Bluetooth or it is Wi-Fi, for example, when you try to teach this thing, it'll go and that'll be no good to you. Uh, two notable examples are the Nvidia Shield uses Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, one or the other. Actually, it turns out the NVIDIA Shield can be controlled with infrared. All you need is the right equipment. The right equipment is apparently an FLIRC USB dongle. Uh, I don't own one yet, so I can't confirm this. I'm actually going to buy one and include it in a future episode, but it appears, according to all sources, that it will work with infrared. So that's worth considering if you own an NVIDIA Shield. Uh, and your PlayStation 4 will do exactly the same thing. The Harmony Hub can control a small number of devices. Uh, two of them are those two. Uh, so I would recommend if you're a Harmony Hub owner, you can get around it. If you're not a Harmony Hub owner, you're going to want an Android device that is controllable using an infrared remote. That is it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And pretty much all my funding comes from you guys, and I appreciate every bean you give me. So if you want to help support me, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. So what we need to do... Need, 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 ...up applications on your... Uh, you. <laughs>